finally got the darn seat covers done. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, freaking Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we're gonna cut this back here, and we're gonna put the seat cover together, vacuum it, and we're gonna try out the DeWalt cordless doodad. So let's get this over here in the light where you can see, and we'll put the camera up here, and hopefully you can have an eye and see what's really going on down here. All right. Oh, careful. Oh, easy. Oh yeah, look at this thing, Jim. Holy, have an eye. Is that a blower? What does this do? What does that do? Nothing. What does this Get do? Get back here somewhere. You ah. Oh, this thing's mint. Oh, decent. Got a neat little function here. See right here? It has a blow job. So it will actually blow the dirt away from the blade so you can actually see the line. So that's kind of different. Captain. <laughs> Trying to cut in my teeth. You see? Let me tell you what. That's what. Trim a little bit off there because I forgot to cut inside the lines. That's better. We're gonna write that's better. Is that your new one? Yeah, works good, eh? Just forgive her, Captain. So there we go. We got that cut, which worked out real good. Now we got to sand this down to a pretty big lip. I don't have my. So all we gotta do now is drill these holes. Start extending them. Oh. oh. Make sure they're lined up. So we need a hole right here. Hole right here. Hole right here. Hole right here. That's kind of weird. Why are those holes like? Whatever. Where they are. We gotta put these into the holes. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I get a one size bigger. Now, the air holes. Why is an air hole there? I'm gonna move that air hole. Sit on the cover. We're almost done, Jim. That goes on there, like so. Holy, look at us freaking go. You know, the cover goes on it, like so. And we'll give her a stress job here. Oh, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna turn my truck around and do a tailgate again. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, dick. Let's go over here. How you doing? Pretty good? Good, me too. Before we go any further here, I just want to give a shout out to my buddy Sean for lending me that friggin' Hey, friggin' right dude. Dick. All right, let's get one side off first because this ain't gonna work too good if we try to rustle ourselves to death. Yeah. Ah, oh, easy. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? I smell rain in the air. Better watch for rain. I don't want the, the golf cart to get wet yet. Blue balls can't get wet right now. He's not set up for rain. Yes, we did. So that will give us two on that side. That way we'll be able to give her the stretch motion. Maybe. Something's happening. There's a stretch motion right there. There it is. All right, so we got a stretch motion. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. Nope, looking good, okay, perfect. So we gotta give it a stretch this way. Actually, let's give it a stretch this way. Yeah, let's stretch this part first. Get that stretched around here. Boom. Perfect. We'll give this a stretch over here. Stretch over here. Careful. Perfect. Let's take a look. Good. We'll give this a stretch. Here. Oh, what's going on with my foam? It's all dinged over. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, that looks okay. Give her a stretch over here. There you go. How's that looking? Not too bad. Listen to them boys going down that track. They're going to get themselves in some trouble here. Liking the way that's looking at all. You gotta take that corner back off again. So what's happening here is a foam is not stretching with a cloth. See that? This look right here, no goody. 
too picky for that. So we'll take this back off and we'll see if we can't get the foam to relax over the wood like it's supposed to, like that. Now let's try it. Stay foam, stay. Okay, now let's see if we can get this cover back over without the foam taking off on us. Let's try that, much better. We're gonna do the same on that side. So I'll stretch this over, boom, take a look. Not too bad. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. Dig this over, boom, pull this over. Looking pretty good. Gonna pull these out and fix this corner. Well, these stables are just junk. They're breaking. Come on, Stanley, what's going on? Your stables used to be awesome. Now they're garbage. Like every thing else in this world. There right, so pull the foam over, rewrap it. There you go, look at that. She looks beautiful. Next, I gave me a little bit of a sweat on. The next thing we need to do is cut off a little bit of the access around the holes here so we, they can breathe. Just like this, there we go. Take off the excess around this hole so we can screw it on. There we go, get the back plate, we'll slip it on, which is right here, yeah. Which goes this way and it fits just perfect, look at that. Oh yeah, we did. So we'll put the screw holes in here first. We're gonna actually have to hand bomb this one because I haven't got a long bit for my screw gun to go in here. So this is a very rare sighting. I never hand bomb, but I'm gonna have to today. So now we're ready to bolt it on the cart. Oh yeah. So let's go over to the cart now and finish this, finish off this stupid seat project, which I'm so glad it's almost over because I'm getting real tired of working on seats for this thing I am. I'll be honest, it sucks. Everybody's over there getting their COVID shot. And hey, let me put it up on here on blue balls. Can you see? Probably not. So first thing we need to do is put the seat up here, like so. Oh, dick. Slap the screw in. Hopefully it lines right up. Hey, hopefully it lines right up, but only time will tell. I'm gonna say maybe, maybe not. Maybe something. Let's try the bottom one. Something's friggin' happening. Look at how good that looks. My God, have an eye. I might have to go to the back side here. I don't know. It ain't feeling too good right now. That one doesn't feel too bad. It's going in. That's one good thing, isn't it? Maybe. I don't know. Now remember, when you're doing these carts, you gotta have lots of patience because I'll tell you what, that's what. All right, so these should be all started. So let's fold down this part and we'll get her in from behind. We will. Can I get you up there? Probably. Tell me if you can see. Can you see? I can't at all. There it is. God, I got that one, the first shot, get it? Oh yeah, I did. Oh, things are happening. There we go. That was the top, now the bottom. I'm going all by feel here. It's all about how you hold your tongue. Am I close? There it is, maybe. I don't know, it should be. It should be right there. It's not, is it? What is actually going on here? Let's try this again. Nope, it's just not feeling the game here. Let's loosen this one back off. Let's just move it around a little bit. There it is. Try her again. There it is. Oh, that's beautiful. There it is. Look at that. And I even got a spooge on here already. A couple spooges. I'll have to get them off. But there you go. Look at that seat cover, boys and girls, peoples. That there is friggin' decent. Matching seats. That brings the price up to about 7500 maybe. I really don't like the way this is, but there's nothing I can do about it. There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed the seat cover recovering episodes. I really appreciate it if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you did. Thanks for being here. Love y'all. You know, I'm glad you're here on the old Bill show. This was kind of a just get her done type episode. Like I said, I was getting pretty tired doing seat covers. I enjoyed it, but I was getting tired of it. If you know what I mean, leave a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you enjoy it, sometimes you just want to get over with. Well, I'm going to pull out the old rigid... Shop back here and get that cleaned up. Back out the back of the truck. Oh, I got new bearings for the front of the truck. Both two new bearings and I got some new uh, universals we're putting on her again to see if we can't get rid of that noise. And I'm going to have something else change where it's pulling a code. So that's to come, maybe. I might just pay someone to do it. I'm not sure yet. We're still thinking about that one. But hopefully everybody's enjoying this. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Like I said a few minutes ago, before I started rambling on about the truck. Love y'all.
and you know what to do for now.